Today we'll be going over the biggest secret that controller pros have been hiding, and that's why the controller players need control freaks to be insane at Fortnite. Almost everyone knows what control freaks are, but if you don't, let me explain what they are. They're thumbsticks that are designed to provide an advantage in gameplay by increasing the controller's arc distance and maximizing agility and grip. If you were to ask a group of 100 controller players if they would recommend people to use control freaks, about 80% of them will say yes, but is that true? We're going to solve that in this video without wasting any more time, let's cue the intro. Although control freaks have been scientifically proven to improve aim and accuracy, they aren't required to be good at Fortnite. There are a bunch of pro players that don't use control freaks like Mero, and he's earned nearly 370,000 in cash winnings, as well as Scope who's earned nearly 85,000 in comp events and he also doesn't use control freaks. And it's not just the comp side of Fortnite either, there are insane creative warriors like Chronic G Money and Slappin who are both known in the Fortnite comp for being one of the best. I'll be playing one game with the control freak on and another one with it off to point out major differences in my gameplay. Before we get on to the control free gameplay, I'm glad to announce that we are now partnered with AIM controllers. I've been using a PS4 Pro controller for over a month now and it has mouse click triggers and paddles. Here's a sound test. So if you're looking for a solid pro controller that you can get, check out the AIM controllers website using the link in the description and you'll get 10% off when you use code LIQUID at the checkout. And you can also customize the controller to however you want. Check out how I customize mine with these pictures on the screen. Now let's get back to the video. I haven't been using control freaks for over three months now and it kind of feels strange using it again. These are a few things that I noticed. I noticed that everything I do is kind of delayed because of the taller thumbstick. Yo, no way, my guns are reloaded. The thing with control freaks that you need to realize is that when you have them on, you can play a high sense on controller like 50 50, but somehow it'll still feel like you're playing 43 43 X and Y. Alright, I'm gonna reload, then I'm gonna get back up there. Nah, is this guy emoting, bro? Really? However, my crosshair placement does feel consistent with these on, and my long range aim is really good with these on as well. The Ranger is so good now. Let's move on to gameplay without the Control Freak. Without the Control Freak, I feel that my right stick movements are much more responsive now that I took him off. Okay, I'll take that. I could have made a better window edit though. So I would say if you want to have a fast moving playstyle on controller, then don't use Control Freaks. But if you want to be more of a smooth type of player, then I would definitely recommend using control fix. The only downside to not using control fix is that it may take longer to get better crosshair placement, but that crosshair placement will be raw muscle memory of your sense, plus crosshair movement without the control freaks. And in my opinion, this will benefit you in the long run. And this just comes to show that you can be good with or without control freaks. Let me know down in the comments if you play with control freaks or if you don't. And if you made it this far into the video, put a blue heart emoji in the comments so I know who watched this all the way through. My name is Liquid and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.